Hey my loves, welcome back to my channel. So as usual, I did my brows off camera. Y'all, the reason why I do that is because I try to make the videos as short as possible because I know no one likes to sit through a 20 minute tutorial. But if you want a brow tutorial, just let me know and I can make one for you guys. Um, the eyeshadow palette that I'm using is honestly, a generic no name brand palette I have no clue about the details of this palette because I got it from my niece a few years back but if I find out some information I'll just put it in the description box but um you could just use any palette that has these colors in it I used the darkest yellow that they had in this particular palette and right underneath I used a dark green the dark green was a little bit too dark for me, so I just blended it out with the yellow to make it more so on the lime side. And then um, I added dark blue. If you notice, I didn't really focus on the center of my lid, more so I focused on the outer corner of my eye so that that part can be dark since I'm adding glitter anyway. And I cut my crease with the NYX's glitter glue and the glitter that I'm using is the same glitter that I talked about in my Valentine's Day tutorial. Um, I got it from my local beauty supply for about four bucks. But I really like it. Like it's really good glitter and it's really pretty and sparkly. So I'm kind of obsessed with it at this point. <laughs> Anytime I see them adding more colors, I'm definitely going to grab some because I really like it. But um, the brush that I'm using to apply the glitter is one of those um, old timey eyeshadow brushes. You know, the kind that has a sponge. But I realized that it was a little bit too um, blunt to get into the cracks and crevices. So I went back over it with the Real Techniques Detailer Brush. If you want to start with this brush from the beginning, that's fine. So that you don't waste two brushes with glitter because we all know. Glitter is messy and getting it out the brushes are not fun. Um, the liner that I'm using is the Kat Von D's Tattoo Liner. I don't really use this liner that much because it's just not very dark to me. But I like the point of it because I can draw with it. Like I can manage the tip a lot, a lot better than the e.l.f. liner. But I like how dark the e.l.f. liner is. So I basically just used the tattoo liner as an outline and went back over it with the e.l.f. liner. Now y'all can see I'm looking a whole mess with all this fallout. But all you have to do is take a makeup wipe and um, basically wipe all of that off. Be careful not to erase your wing. Just get all the excess shadow and glitter off your face that it's falling down. You repeat the same steps on the other lid, but what I did off camera was basically add some um, liquid eyeliner in the color yellow. It's by NYX. I'll list the details down in the description box, but you basically just outline where you cut your crease for the glitter. Last time y'all, I'm using Star Lash Glue and some 3D lashes that I got from my local beauty supply. And at this point, I'm just priming my face to get ready to put this foundation on. Y'all can see the look really starts to come together once the lashes are applied. Um, if you're doing your makeup and you feel like, uh, I don't know if this makeup look is working out, just wait it out until the lashes come on because I always feel like that. Like I don't really love my eyeshadow until I have my lashes on. It really, to me, brings the entire look together so if you feel a little leery about it before your lashes come on just wait it out and once the lashes get on it'll probably change your perception of the look now um i'm gonna highlight with the la girl pro concealer in the color cool tan and it was a little bit too light for me y'all so i went ahead and used um two concealers just to darken it up a little bit and the second color is called chestnut and I just blended that out and y'all know I like a bright highlight so I didn't want to make it too light that's why I just added a little bit of the chestnut just to darken it up a little bit I 
So to contour, I'm actually using a foundation stick by um, Black Radiant. Um, I like it a lot because it's a it's really dark and it puts a lot more product on your face than the contour stick that I usually use. So yeah, I really like it. I'm gonna list the details in the description box. And you just wanna blend that all out. Now I'm gonna set my highlighted areas with this um, Honey Setting Powder by Fenty. Someone asked me why don't I bake? And the reason is baking for me leaves me a little bit ashy looking, if that makes sense. Um, so I do press the powder into my face and I just wipe off the excess with, with a brush. But when, by pressing it, it pretty much gives it the same effect that baking would without the ashy after look that baking leaves <laughs> if that makes sense y'all but i'm not opposed to baking like if you bake you know kudos to you it just doesn't work out for me i tried it before and i didn't like the effect that it gave me and i'm just applying the um black radiance blusher and i'm also going to use black radiance bronzer I'm contouring my um, jawline just to make my face look a little bit more slimmer, y'all. Um, and you just wanna blend that out. So the thing about using this foundation stick is if you have an unsteady hand, like I have an unsteady hand, it's hard to get at the top of your nose since it's so wide. So what I would suggest doing is using a small um, brush to contour your nose. Just like put the brush onto the foundation stick and then contour your nose with the brush itself. It, itself. Um, and I'm using the pink color out of this Urban Decay Naked palette for my cheeks. And then everything else I'm using the gold. So I'm gonna go underneath my waterline with that same green that I used on my lid. The only thing is I'm not going to, gonna um, make it um, like a lime color. I'm just gonna leave it at that dark green color. Make sure you use a small, small brush to do this so that you don't get eyeshadow in your eye. Now I'm just lining my lips with a brown liner pencil it's not going to show but i like to line my lips just because it helps me with an outline of where i don't want to go over for my lipstick and we're gonna get it popping with the blue y'all highlight the cupid's bow now let's get this hair together I dyed the wig myself, y'all, and this is the completed look. Outfit by Fashion Nova, shoes by Forever 21. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.